share with us if you can where the, where they are going, uh, where where you're looking to put those folks to work. Yeah, the the the, uh, the majority of the effort is going to the south, but you don't know until they put the unit against the request what unit's coming where. Mm -hmm. So now that now we know obviously that the first ones will be. Um, uh, some trainers and the Marine Corps forces, and now we know where they're going, and we know where the uh, the next unit's going, which is uh, you know another brigade combat team uh, from uh, from the Army in this case, the ones that the you know they signed the deployment orders for the 19,000. They, so they're going to the south too. Where, where, whereabouts? Uh, they're going into the Kandahar uh, province, and uh, the Marines are going to go into the Helmand province. And then uh, the trainers are going uh, to a couple different places because, again, some of them are going into uh, the uh, NATO training mission Afghanistan to build some of the improvements we need in the police development. Where, uh, where are the trainers going? The trainers are going multiple places, again, because they're the ones that get spread out morning. But the first ones that come in for the trainers are going into Na uh, NATO training mission Afghanistan to build a much improved capacity in training the police. One last question, All right. General. As, as the operational commander, you're assuming you're still on the ground in uh, July 2011. Yep. What would you want to see on the ground in the South, s such that you would recommend to the President, um, this mission has been concluded satis satisfactory, I'm comfortable drawing down the Well, troops. again, you're not going to, it's not going to be your that. definition of success. Yeah. Um, I think that uh, when you... When you go down to, uh, and I'll just give a snapshot of that now, when you go down to uh, Nava and when you go down to Garmsville, which is two places that the Marines have been in, uh, you know, for a, uh, well, Garmsville they've been in and out of over a little bit uh, longer than a year, but the other places, you know, eight, eight, eight ten months. Uh, those places are, are fairly secure. Uh, the people are out, the, the bazaars are open, and uh, they're starting to get a uh, better sense of confidence in uh, the way ahead and now we're working hard uh, to to uh, support the civilian efforts to get some governance out there and some development but if you look at those closely there's gaps between them and there's gaps between Nawa and Lashkarga excuse me yes so there's gaps between those little islands of uh, security okay so what we want to do is kind of connect those so that uh, you have a bigger secure area that is well connected so that they can start, uh, you know, getting their uh, goods to market. So, for example, from uh, Lashkar Gar all the way out to Spin Bulldog, if you are able to see larger areas secure that are contiguous and then able to move the uh, move along lines of communications, you know, to certain critical areas, you know, like uh, Kandahar, like Spin Bulldog and those things. And then, uh, and a lot of it will have to do with momentum and the, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, the m momentum going forward to continue those improvements. And then, uh, again, in the ideal world, we'd hope to be able to say that we can, uh, you know, begin a, a, a drawdown of forces. Again, the rate to be determined based on those kind of things uh, as we uh, move forward past the summer of uh, 2011.